Greetings, Matt and RC with you. Today I'm going to be going through my most recent haul of Blu-ray Steelbooks. Some of these titles were bought uh, in America, others were bought in Canada or the UK, some of which were purchased brand new and others were purchased on secondary markets. I've already done a review of a couple of these so if you get a chance check out my other videos and you can see uh, me unboxing those and I will be unboxing the rest of these for you as well. I like Steelbooks. They're really cool. They're kind of an upgraded version of a film that comes out. This is the Jurassic Park Steelbook. Very nice black cover. This was probably one of the first Blu-rays I picked up uh, in Steelbook. This is the Fast Five Steelbook and I will be unboxing this one for you as well. Now what is a Steelbook? Basically again a Steelbook is an upgraded cover for your DVD. And quite the name, you know, it's literally the name you have uh, an aluminum kind of case that holds the film. This I think was the actual first one I ever got, the Iron Man 2. And in some cases they do some neat things with the cover. You can see here that this is kind of a lenticular case, so it's a steel book with the 3D imagery on the front. This is the American Best Buy exclusive for Green Lantern, extended cut. Great steel box, terrible film. This is one of my UK pickups. This is the Ultimate Born collection with the films inside of it. This one's kind of interesting because it's already open and I'll show you. If you take out the Blu-ray, they have inserts inside the Steelbook, which makes it even cooler. And again, the back. Can't wait to open this one. This is the Captain America UK release from HMV.com. This is a Steelbook with an embossed cover on it, so the cap is raised off of there. <clears throat> In some cases these films uh, have completely different covers than the one we got in America. This is the, again the UK X-Men First Class and you can see um, sometimes they don't do much inside. Okay, But I bought this one strictly for the cover because it's such a cool release. Now if any of you have been hearing about the Resident Evil deals at uh, Walmart, here's Apocalypse. Eight bucks. Eight dollars. Great value. From a value perspective, these are my favorites. So we have Apocalypse, Extinction, First Resident Evil. Again, these were all eight dollars at Walmart. Had to visit several of them to get a collection, but I've got a couple sets now. So that's cool. Got that little baby out of store too. I can't believe it. This is Afterlife. Mila Jovovich. Hot. And then Regeneration. This one's a little bit easier to find in the stores. But again, for eight bucks you can't beat them. The Incredible Hulk, this is the UK release. Not too much different than the cover of the American Amory case. Did get the Lion King 
pre-order, so I'll be adding that to my collection with the DVDs I purchased. What's great about this particular one is I could have uh, bought this for very cheap, just the, the case itself, like I did with Cars 2, and I can wait on that one until I can find it <clears throat> at a resale for much cheaper than what I would have paid for it in the store. I think originally this is the Kill Bill Part 1. This was the DVD uh, that really, I think, got me interested in steelbooks because the cover is just so completely different than what we got in America and very cool and I apologize for the reflectivity there if you can't see it that well it's very cool. Volume 2 from Canada the first version was also uh, from Canada so these are my Canadian ones and you can see the cover there, side there and again the back the great Sin City Canadian release Again, very different from the American cover. There's my Cars 2. I like this one, it's got a really nice embossed cover, so when I uh, do the unboxing for this one, I encourage you to take a look at it. That's an American release. I just got Cowboys and Aliens in the mail yesterday. This is the American Target exclusive that was only available online. Not sure if this one will ever come out in, in the stores, but uh, this was kind of quite a pickup. And then the last one is Thor. HMV exclusive, kind of along the same lines as the Captain America, so it has the embossed co cover as well. So the Thor writing is embossed right across there. So that is my recent pickups. I'll be doing uh, reviews on each of them, unboxings of all of those. So I encourage you to check all of those out. This is Matt and RC. Peace!